Hi. We've been gathered here today because as we all know I do a bit of um, embroidery with a machine, not with a hand, with a machine and uh, these things cost an arm and a leg, believe me or not, they do. So what I decided to do, because I want to be able to do on your hats there, so you're going to make this jig thing, like this size, will fits in and allows you to do your hat. Now I do these sort of things, this is for a Mr. Ness and this one is for uh, my mate Iva and you can iron them on obviously but it'd be better to put them straight onto the hat so what we're going to do here today is make one of these for a embroidery machine and uh, I go on the internet looking for things that just cannot be justified. One of these and the one we're going to make is like $129. It's a bit of, it's a bit of plastic. So where, where do you get that from? So we're going to uh, make them out of wood. Good old wood. And uh, this one is it clamps down the it clamps down the peak of the hat to keep it flat. You push all this stuff out there, and then you can get your sewing machine in there to embroider it, your name or your logo. So we're going to try that. So the first part of the lesson will be you, the shed, and the second part of the lesson will be up the office on the old machine. <laughs> so. I've got some wood. This is called wood. And it don't fit. So hopefully that fits on there. Luckily, I saw that just big enough. So I'm going to saw it around there. And see where it gets us, isn't it, really? Can you see? Move the drill. So. This thing I saw is a piece of wood the same size as this which fits into the other frame. It's got a square hole in it and it's got another piece of wood there to clamp two screws, butterflies and that's about it. So we're going to do that. So terse things terst. Get old faithful pencil and draw around that. So I can cut it. Right. I was going to make it out of MDF but I can't find any. So I'm going to saw that out. We are then going to uh, get a square. And we're going to square a hole. There's centre. So we're going to go across there. You can really see, can I get that out a little bit? So center of the pudding, which is about there, my eyes adored you, that's about center, and we're just going to cut it in, all. in the middle, we can just leave enough sides on. So if I leave that much on, 
putting even enough sides on to keep this wood pretty strong. We don't want it weakening around the edges. Then that goes on there, and then they put a clamp on, which was that shape, which was that other piece of wood I just had. So that's going to clamp on there with that shape cut out of it. Did you miss me? Yeah, when I went away. Don't want to be singing that song, do you? Gary bloody glitter shit. Right, that's it. That should be the same shape as that. Hopefully, slightly a bit bigger because they got a tendency to stretch these uh, old mothers. Now I got to cut that out of there. And that's where the that's where the sewing machine goes down in to doodle your doodly as. So, I made a little pillar drill here, and hopefully, it's still plugged in. Pillar drill, pillar drill. Now we're going over. Oh, old faithful. We're going to shove it in the hole. Shove it in the hole, man. Then I was digging a hole. Doing a cribbins. Right, we're going to saw that out. Have I got room? No, but no. Remember me when I'm sad and lonely. Right, they had that on there like that. Now obviously we got to drill tools for there, but we can't drill into the hat. Otherwise they wouldn't talk to me no more. So, we go over there to there. So the hat comes in and butts it. Yeah, it should be back there somewhere. Where is that? door there. Oh, so it's right under there so if I make that to go basically there tip to tippy That's going to go on there like that. Your hat goes under there and gets really clamped down. Something like that. So I might put three clamps in it. One, two, three. As I said, you're going to make sure you don't hit. So. I put one there ish. <coughs> and what was that? Half inch. Come in there, half inch. So we'll do the bottom one a bit further, so we'll come in about there. Three quarter. Uh, come down there about inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. And we want this approximately half. 
approximately half of eight and a quarter. No, it's eight and a half. It's about four and a quarter most this day, so four and a quarter will be there. Three old dunk 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 dunk. We want that held on there like that. Because I'm a Londoner. Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner. Good old London town. I want to drill a small hole first. I'll show you why now. Three small yours. Turn that piece over because these if we can open them with that chisel. These coach boats I'm gonna sink in one layer of plywood. So, what size head have we got, boss? My size head is 10, 11, 12, 14. So, somewhere we have got 15 mil, 16 in there, I think. 18. I'm sure I've seen a 16. 16. We've got a 16 mil wood drill. Which I'm just going to take a layer of a layer of plywood out. I know it out. Deep I'm going because it changes colour. Because plywood runs in different directions, don't it? Right. Take that out. Now we want. thickness of one of them. So we'll go with our size for now. Because I want these I want these to screw into there so they don't come out and I'll do bigger holes. I'll do bigger holes in this one so it just drops over it. So that's good, I think it's now time for tidy, tidy, sandy, sandy papering. So, oh. if I was making these. I would uh, I would knock up a jig to do it with a router. You could do uh, you could probably do 300 of these a day. So tell me why they're charging so much? Because they they be made on a CNC. All you gotta do is press a button. But that's, that's the way of the world, isn't it? Oh, profit, profit, profit.
give us your money, give us your money, give us your money. Oh, it might be with that. I'm gonna get one of them. And hopefully, it's gonna screw into there. I've done that with one hand. Health and safety. What will they say? So basically, we have that. Fit on air. That fits on air. I bought some penny washers. Free. I bought some. nuts get you cheap and that's why they use the cheap because they ain't got no flicking threads in them that one does Don't like that one One. There. finished article and we're going to take it upstairs and see if it fits into the other part it should do if not it's back to the drawing board <laughs> 